Where do rocks come from? Let's find out. Today, we are beginning our rock cycle exploration. Please make sure that you have your essential questions worksheet so we can get started. Please take a look at the first three questions. First, let's review the layers of the earth. Feel free to call out the answer if you know it. The first layer is the crust. It is where we live and is composed of land and water. Under that is the right, the mantle. Remember, heat and pressure has increased, so it's really hot. This is typically the source of magma and lava. Next is the... Right, the outer core, where it is hotter and there is more pressure. Under that is the... Inner core, where it is so high in pressure, it is actually compacted into a solid. Unlike the mantle and crust, both cores are made mostly of nickel and iron, where the mantle and crust are made of mostly rock material. So what do the layers of the earth have to do with the rock cycle? To answer the question, let's start with something you may more th know than what you think. Igneous rock. Believe it or not, most rocks start or are formed inside of the earth. Yes. Our first example is igneous rock. It begins as magma deep inside the volcano like you see here in something called a magma chamber. The magma will push its way through the mantle and thin through the crust. This is something we know as a volcano eruption. As time passes, the lava will turn into rock. This is after it has cooled down and hardened. The easiest way to learn about sedimentary rocks is understanding that they begin as igneous rock, although this is not always the case. You can find sediments or pieces of rock like this created by water, also known as erosion, or wind, also known as weathering. Am I sure that water and wind can break down rock? Yes. After the sediments have been broken down by wind or water, it is deposited into layers of rock. Here is an example. Over time, this is what some of the sedimentary rocks may look like. Metamorphic rocks begin in the mantle. Remember that heat and pressure is very high in this location, so it's going to be applied to the rock. During this time period, it may bend or there may be different components that mix together. One way or another, this is what it may look like. These are examples of metamorphic rocks. No, we haven't finished the rock cycle completely. But don't worry, we will have time to look at it again in more in detail. Please think about everything that we have learned within this video. I would like for you to get with your group and look at these last two questions before you begin. Please wait for my instructions and then we will get started on your second look.